And of course, when we talk about people who turn their backs on lucrative opportunities and even their former lives, uh, I think the number one model, the number one peg for that, I think, is Dylan Wills, who left his life in England to and chose to live in the Philippines. Dylan, hello, and welcome to Cabo Bay in LA once again. I know we've asked you this so many times before, but for those who still don't understand, why? Why did you do what you did? Well, um, I spent six months traveling the world, looking at different countries and different charities, trying to find something to help. So very simply, Gawad Kalinga was the first thing that I saw that really convinced me it was working. And uh, back then, my intention was just to make a donation but Tony Melotto refused my money. I offered him $100,000 and he said, please don't send your money. If you really want to help, come back. So uh, I came back. Uh, he ended up getting all my money for Gawad Kalinga, but I got his daughter for my wife. So, <laughs> and eight years later, that's right. So eight years later, still here. It's actually um, quite amazing to, when you think about it, that it took a foreigner or it takes a foreigner to tell us that the Philippines is a lovely country. What did you fell in love with? Well, there's so many good qualities in Filipinos. Uh, you know, number one that I really admire is your heroism. And um, many Filipinos don't think they're heroic, but compared to the life we live in the West, lead in the West, Filipinos are very heroic, and many hundreds of thousands are sacrificing their time for the people they love, and 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 even beyond that, for the sake of rebuilding the country now, volunteering in Gawad Kalinga and many other groups. Uh, because that's their way of showing their love for God and love for country. So it's the heroism, it's the joy, you're always singing, you're always laughing, you're always eating, such a wonderful people. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I, I just think the Philippines is God's gift to the world, and that's why he sent Filipinos out wherever you go. And Filipinos do love this country, and you ask any Filipino living in the U.S., you know, would you like to be able to go home? Would you like to live in the Philippines? Almost all of them will say yes. If only the opportunities were a bit better, then yes. And you are helping make those, those opportunities better. Um, we've gone beyond volunteering. We've gone beyond building homes for the poor, and now we are trying to help them to sustain themselves. And one of, that, uh, one of the flagships for that is human nature. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, Human Nature was born actually when Anna, my wife, and I were in the U.S. We spent three months going around different cities in the U.S. Uh, talking about Gawad Kalinga. And when we were there, Anna realized that natural and organic products are very popular in America. Um, and they're becoming more affordable there. Whereas in the Philippines, they're still very expensive and only a few people can use them. So when we came back to the Philippines, she decided that she would investigate whether or not we could create these products here in the Philippines. And we found out that, yes, the ingredients for most of them will grow here. They can be grown actually in Gawad Kalinga villages or other poor communities. Um, and so we decided, let's try it. So we decided to start Human Nature. It's uh, all natural products, 100% uh, made in the Philippines, um, no harmful chemicals. And the vision is that um, the ingredients for these products will come more and more from poor communities that we will help set up. It's business with a heart because you're teaching people also how to take care of themselves by giving them jobs in this venture. But then at the same time, uh, I know it's not very easy. What were some of the difficulties? It's been really a struggle. Actually, I had no idea it would be this difficult. Uh, firstly, the, there isn't the support network yet for young entrepreneurs, young business people who are just starting out to, to get uh, help. Uh, firstly, in terms of finance, uh, there's very few people will lend you money here. Um, secondly, in terms of uh, just having mentors to help you grow your business. Um, and so that's what uh, Tony Melotto now is starting to put together in CSI, Center for Social Innovation. He's putting a network of mentors together that will help young people start their businesses, give them a place like right here in this farm um, where they can try their ideas and uh, just give, give that extra push. It's almost, um, you know, what I found starting Human Nature was that... Um, Every single day is really a challenge. Uh, nothing is ever easy in the Philippines. Um, but that if you really persevere and you don't quit, you don't give up, then you can succeed here as well. What are you most proud of? Well, actually, I'm most proud of our people. Many of our people have made big sacrifices as well. We have uh, executives from many multinationals, actually, that have taken, um, in, in many cases, pay cuts to join us. What I'm also really proud of is that human nature products are among the first Philippine uh, cosmetics and uh, personal care products to be sold in the US. I was in Florida a couple of months ago and I uh, visited six natural and organic stores. Human Nature was the only range there made in Asia, not even just made in the Philippines. Everything else is made in the US or made in Canada. 
So it's those words made in the Philippines. I want those to mean something to people around the world. And you may have been a, a Filipino in your previous lives. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully in the next one. Well, thank you so much for everything that you're doing for the community and for the Filipinos and more about you. You're welcome. Thank you, Janelle. God bless. Thank you also for joining us today on Kababayan LA from the Enchanted Farm in Bulacan. We'll see you next time. Sana po, because of this show, you learn to love our Philippines more. And we're not just giving back, but now we are introducing this concept of investing in our people. We'll have more to talk about in the coming days here on Kababayan LA for now. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you next time.